What does meme coins and NFTs have in common? And that is politics, believe it or not. Trump and Biden meme coins are taken off due to the latest NFT meetup held by Donald Trump. The meme coin is infamously known as Dolan Trump and Joe Bowden is known as J.E.O. Bowden, spelled incorrectly. Both these have massive million dollar market caps. What just happened recently was that Donald Trump met with NFT holders who held about 47 of his mugshot NFT. That cost about $4,600. And no, that was not the mugshot picture. It was the cartoon version of it. And they had mugshot variations, which I'm not going to get into. But these NFTs have recently doubled in price after being featured on Jimmy Kimmel. And the most important thing is that the Donald Trump NFT holders, I can't believe I'm saying this, is showcasing the best use cases of NFTs in the first place, rewarding as top holders. In this instance, holding 47 of these mugshot NFTs got you a dinner with Donald Trump, allowed you to ask questions. And this person asked about the state of crypto if, you know, Trump was to be elected president again, which Donald replied that he was pretty much pro crypto and this sent the NFTs and meme coins, the political ones at least, skyrocketing. Not financial advice. Here are some of the meme tokens, the political ones that have taken off. Trump with have Trump and Bowden. Bowden holding a $250 million market cap. That's massive. Seems like meme coins aren't going anywhere. Donald Trump entities are definitely not going anywhere. He's actually launched more and more and with his wife launching more also. And what we're seeing now is a different type of spotlight on NFTs. Something called Fantasy Top has been taking over Ethereum, actually on L2 called Blast. Imagine a fantasy sports app that tracks analytics, you know, like shots, few goals made, home runs and whatnot. But this is for Web3 native users. And this tracks artists, influencers, creators, developers, whoever has influence on the space. And it tracks their metrics, their engagements, their retweets, their posts. And it's been generating over $9 million in daily volume. You can buy packs of these influencers and developers and artists and whatnot and creators. And based on the engagement, you will move up a daily leaderboard and win some prizes. And most importantly, these creators and developers, like I mentioned, they get a share of big piece of the pie also. So there's rewards for everybody. Imagine holding a super rare NFT of Steph Curry or LeBron James. Well, people are now speculating over 700 Ethereum into the top influencers and of tiers of the space. Even if you're not one of those influencers, you can play the game now. So if you're deep into crypto Twitter, you're deep in the Web3 NFTs, check this out as it is a new meta for today. We don't know how long this is going to last, but it's providing some top notch entertainment. In actual NFT news, shout out to our previous guest, the founder and owner of Shrapno, a triple A first person shooting game is set to accept debit cards and credit cards for the purchase of their in-game economy token called Strap. This is huge because whichever Web3 company has a on-ramp for fiat, they do really well. I'm talking about NBA Top Shot, I'm talking about VV, because that makes them unpegged from cryptocurrency markets. So when Ethereum fluctuates, or Bitcoin fluctuates, then people onboarding and taking out money from this ecosystem is not going to tank the assets within that platform. If you don't know what I'm talking about, I break it all down in detail how to get involved in the Web3 and how to capitalize and how to have some ownership here because that's what Web3 is all about. It's all about ownership. And that's why lastly, FTX has to cough back those assets because we actually own them. FTX had their assets seized. As you all know, Sang Batman Freed got, you know, he did a lot of fraud. And what happens was they froze assets. Not only cryptocurrency, they froze the NFTs. But now everyone's getting their NFTs back and everyone's getting their crypto back because we own that. All can be checked on the blockchain, all through provenance, all through public addresses. So this is the power of Web3. We can all trace it back to the original owner. I know we're talking some very interesting stuff. We're talking about the convergence of meme coins and NFTs, political NFTs and meme coins, talking about influencers having fantasy cards out there nowadays. What are we talking about? But there are millions of dollars being made off of these protocols and platforms off of Blast that's running a new rewards ecosystem, dropping millions of dollars for that fantasy top game that we just talked about. So there's a lot of wealth to be made. It's tough to navigate, but for with our private community, I do talk about what I'm buying and selling on the daily, on the weekly, and we open up the lines of communication so that we can interact. So if that's something that you want to check out, then click the link down below. Regardless, we have three market updates weekly. If you love Web3, blockchain, NFTs, make sure you follow us. We'll see you guys on the next one. Peace.